All right, some injuries are injuries. Nevertheless, uh, some recoveries are recoveries. So we're going to break that down in this episode. But what I want to get into before we go into details, Maurice Kennedy played his role into being probably one of the starting cornerbacks as it relates to slot. You guys hear me? As it relates to slot. <laughs> Not as it relates to him being the uh, end all be all as the outside corner. Shout out to him getting first team reps experiences goes a long way not a short way and on top of that aggressiveness that's what you need in this particular defense and when you add both of those pieces together as you guys hear me i'm not talking that much of anthony brown and of course injuries are injuries and recoveries are recoveries with jordan hip pocket lewis but this, this offseason, believe it or not, even though we got a game this week, it's still a long one. It's still a long one. It's not short. It's a long process to get to the offseason part of it, Cowboy Nation. And you guys know how that thing rock and roll. However, when we go into the nitty-gritty, the details of the situation, shout out to Maurice Kennedy for holding it down. Maybe he was the missing piece last season. <laughs> but no, the defense starts up front. And you need somebody to reinforce that front. And regardless of what type of DB you are, you still need help up front. And we're solidifying some of those pieces. But this is still all on paper. We got to see it. We got to have it tangible enough so that we can touch it. And we will find that out. Not even when the preseason kick off, but when the season goes around. So shout out to Maurice Kennedy for being one of those guys who stepped up and said, hey, regardless of where you guys got me at on the depth chart, I'm earning my way. I'm getting coaches to pay attention to me. And I love his story. I love his story because he pretty much said when he was drafted or his first team that he went to, he was groomed by nothing but dogs over there at Baltimore. Everybody was veteran. He was the youngest guy coming in and he needed help and they showed him the way. So shout out to him for establishing that role. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, Boss Man Fat, you guys heard me when I was doing the live feed. I said, hey, I would love for Boss Man Fat to go up against C.D. Lamb. I can't wait for that to happen. However, might not, but we will see what he going to do in preseason against some unknown opponents and Shout out to him, earning that first team recognition. Also, shout out to Nashawn Wright. Don't sleep on him. He's another guy. And what we're seeing, Cowboy Nation, when we talk about the defense in general, when we talk about the way they move and operate, we're looking at it like this, Cowboy Nation. Defense wins what? Post it down in the comment box. Competition, iron sharp and iron. You guys know I've been beating my chest. I've been banging on the table saying that, hey, this is what we need to do on the defensive side of the coin. So by all of this stuff working together, it's a good feeling. Flat out it is. Ooh, it's a good feeling, Cowboy Nation. It's a good feeling. Now, when we look into the Cowboys organization on how they used to look at the defense back in the days. Hey, we go pull this resource. We go try to get this guy from the, not from the <laughs> premium rack, but from the, okay, this is, a, this is a rack that we can just try to look into. Oh, this is a clearance rack. You know, that's where we normally go at. That's normally where we pick out our players. And one can say, well, Law, they did the same thing this year. No, I come here to tell you guys, shout out to Nashawn Wright, shout out to Boss Man Fat, all of those guys, each and every last one of those guys were drafted and they're making noise. And shout out to Maurice Kennedy, he wasn't drafted, but at least that acquisition is still showing up now for us now. So I give them all types of props for that, right? Uh, let's go into the details of Rain Dakota Prescott. So his shoulder 
been the issue. And uh, there's an illustration out, and I'm gonna try to post it somewhere within this feed if I can figure out how to edit it in. And this is it's a latissimus shoulder. I, I think it's a latissimus dorsi, uh, somewhere along the back part of the shoulder. And the only way, the only way that he can recover from this is time, is healing. No major surgery need to happen, nothing torn or nothing like that. Healing factor must be a solution. Now, Dak Prescott, he seems as if though he's a guy that goes from zero to 100 real quick. And then once he at 100, there's no stopping him. And while we was watching him out there in practice, that's all we've seen. He'll continue to move, continue to move around, continue to try to figure out new ways to be still in the process. And you hear him in his interview with multiple people and multiple media partners. Hey, I got to get my mental rep. I got to get out here. Oh, it's just a precautionary that I'm not going to throw the ball with my right side. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to take that full day off full body of getting into the ice tub or the hot tub, whatever tub that he need to get in, go be with boo thing, his boo thing basically, and hang out with her and just chill and relax. No dissipating though, <laughs> but just chill. Watch a movie, go to the movies. Well, don't go to the movies in this modern day time because we never know what happened in the movies if you guys get what I'm saying. As far as who been there is it wiped down and all of these things yeah uh, that's a whole nother book of bear right there a whole nother can of worms but sometimes it's better to sit back and relax <laughs> and party on down <laughs> no 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 he shouldn't kick off his shoes and relax but you guys get what i'm saying so dak prescott shoulder situation we may not see him at all during the preseason now, I'm quite sure Dak Prescott, one of those guys that would like to be a part of the meetings and, and fly with the team here and go with the team there, but it'd probably be wise for him to just rest that thing up and get back to the top percentage of being healthy to be ready for week one. And I know my detractors will say, well, Law, why you paid him $160 million? Well. I believe if it's a game today that counts, Dak Prescott would be out there on the field. Now, sometimes for those who play sports or any level of sports, especially if it's contact sports, there's an old saying, after your first few years, you no longer would never see that 100%. <laughs> there's always a nick or a knack, something bruised here and something bruised there. There's always something like that, regardless. And uh, I played some sports a long time ago and my shoulder still hurt and I'm close to 40, you know? So I know for sure, Rain Dakota Prescott got more than that shoulder situation that's going on. And sometimes, Cowboy Nation, just hear me out. When you favor one side, the other is being used more. That's just what we call, shout out to the laws, laws of diminishing rate of return, just or law of average. That's just how that goes, Cowboy Nation. But don't fret, Dak Prescott is okay. Uh, shout out to Mike McCarthy for, for establishing his leadership council and 14 points and everything. Maybe I'll post a link somewhere down below. And shout out to Miss Jackie for sending me all of that good stuff throughout the day. Man, oh, by the way, since I've been out here in Oxnard, I apologize to everybody that been uh, listening to several of my videos for not giving you guys the real. You know what? Let me give you guys the real on this one. When you're out there, you really, you really don't even notice HBO. So all of the HBO distractions and these sorts of things, much to do about nothing. You really, you really don't even recognize them until you look real, real hard. And if you look too long and too hard at something, <laughs> you will find fault in anything if you look too hard at it, right? So stop looking too hard. 
everything will be okay. The only thing that can happen with hard knocks will be the twist from the media. You know, they like to switch up things, take your words and use it against you. So that's going to happen regardless. I can bet you my bottom dollar on that one. But that's all the time that I have about those topics. Just to rehash what I just talked about, shout out to Maurice Kennedy for being one of those bright lights out there during training camp. We're talking about practice. We'll see when those lights cut off because I've been burnt before. You guys remember a couple seasons ago, I said, that hey, Reggie Davis. So don't Reggie Davis me, Maurice. And shout out to boss man Fat for doing his job quietly. The quiet storm. Sometimes when you're not talking about a player, that's that's the player. That's just how that goes. Oh, and shout out to Dak Prescott. Just take your time. I know, I know. When the camera's not on, you're still working. Just chill. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below, Cowboy Nation. And don't forget to hit that like button and share this content. Subscribe for more Cowboys content, by the way. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Let's go. We out. Peace.